everybody and welcome back to the channel Dynaco Blue 43. Today we got a very special thing to review for you guys today. As you guys see, we have the most recent Precision Series building released by Mattel, Lizzie's Radiator Springs Curios. Now despite Lizzie being the last Radiator Springs townie that we needed in a Precision Series form, her building is not the last one that needs to be released. We still need a couple more, I believe the ones missing are the Courthouse, the Radiator Springs Piston Cup Headquarters thing, McQueen's Headquarters, Doc Hudson's Racing Museum, and I think those are pretty much it. So this is not the last building, however Lizzie was the last Radiator Springs townie to get released in a Precision Series format, so I'm super happy that we finally have a version of her. This this version in particular comes with working headlights and rubber tires. I will show the working headlights right now. You can kind of see right there how our headlights shine right there. Unfortunately, there's no like setting where you can put it on forever. It has a limited time. It's probably like five seconds or something. But if you want to put her on in the box, all you guys can do is go on the top right there. They put a hole right there on the top. You just press down her roof and her lights go on. You guys are probably thinking, where did you get this? Where did you get this? I, I need to know right, right, right now. Well, I can very simply answer that question. I just got it off of eBay from Paul Mar store for $100. It came in great packaging, and I am very happy about that. Even though I'm going to open it, which is exactly why I'm making this video. I don't see no purpose of making the video if I'm going to keep it in the package. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the package. So obviously, we have Lizzie's Radiator Springs Curios, Polo Radiator Springs poster inside. We're going to be taking a look at that. There's the Cars Precision Series logo, and there's just more Precision Series logos throughout the box. I kind of can't see it, but there's one on this side, too. And now, I would show the lights to you guys right now, but just to let everyone know, in the package, the way you turn on the lights is by that little barrel right there. That is right in front of Lizzie. That thing right there, you just press down it and the lights go on. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to save it at, for the end of the video as a little surprise, you know? And now this side happens to be the only side of the box that doesn't feature just the Cars Precision Series logo. We actually have an Art of Lizzie right there. And the background is of the Radio Springs Curio Shop. Lit up at night. Just looks super cool. And that was actually some features of this set that I do not know myself. So when we unbox it and I'm going to take a look at all the details, it's going to be a mystery for me. So it's going to be an adventure for both me and my viewers. So let's look at the bio up top here. It's very cool. As you guys see from left to right says it may not be the most glamorous building on Main Street but there is a charming appeal to the Radiator Springs Curio Shop the humble abode of Lizzie her general store and souvenir shop is the oldest structure in Radiator Springs and offers a variety of knickknacks bric-a-brac and trinkets for the happy travelers passing along the mother road I won't show any footage of me unboxing this thing as it's probably going to be very, very long and I don't really want to waste you guys' time. So we're just going to step, skip right to the part where everything is loose and also we're going to take a look at everything. This one by far here is probably one of my favorite accessories though. I just want to say, the here trap we do have Lizzie's Radiator Springs Curios out of the package in Wow Mattel. He did an outstanding job on this Precision Series building. It looks so cool. There are some complaints I have about it, some very minor complaints, and a small little complaint about the Precision Series Lizzie, but I'll get to that later on in the video. I just want to focus on the positives first, and now, sorry for the wobbliness of the camera. You can kind of see how it's moving around a little bit as I'm speaking, because it's not on any stadium, it's not on the ground. I have it lifted up right now because I want to get every single shot and be able to show every single little detail of this precision series building as possible as good as possible I'm not gonna be able to do that if my camera's down on the ground see down on the ground it doesn't really move that much but now that I'm holding it because I want to show you guys all the special features but anyway here's everything that came in the box obviously you have your Radiator Springs poster here's a nice look I'm just gonna give you guys a quick glance because I know you guys probably already know what it looks like there's also the little numbers come on camera please focus please focus Alright, you guys probably know what that means anyway. Alright, and right here we have the instructions in English. Who needs the instructions, right? I'm kidding, of course you need the instructions. This actually tells you where you connect the traffic light to, which also comes in the box. This little piece is right here is, uh, like, it's added with the traffic light. It helps the traffic light stand up. And we got some more papers and whatnot, and some more poles, and a story connector set, which I won't be connecting to. 
I think I really want to start off with the Radiator Springs Curio Shop in detail, and then we're going to go over how the traffic light stands up, and then we are going to go over the Precision Series Lizzie. So let's move Lizzie out the way real quick, and let's get right into this awesome review. So as we start off right here, you can see the very nice Radiator Springs Curios logo. And we have some more signs right there basically promoting the shop, knowing what you're able to expect when you drive into Lizzie's Curios. You can see souvenirs, bric-a-brac, trinkets, rare hubcaps. You want it? We got it. Sale today only. That's obviously not it's very false nowadays. Western Junk Fossils. Route 66, and I'm not lying to you guys when I'm telling you that there is a bunch, and I mean a bunch of Route 66 logos all over this building. It's just absolutely insane. Like, you can even see all of these Radiator Springs, not Radiator Springs, but Route 66 logos all around it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's accurate to the movie, I'm not complaining, but Jesus. We also have these silver things on the roof right there, which obviously is where the light comes from. Whenever you like press the little barrel for the lights to come on, it lights so that all that thing lights up and good stuff. Now as we look into here, I think I'm actually going to have to take it off of my little stand-up thing. So as you guys can see, we have a door right there. It's obviously where the cars would drive in. Now, unfortunately, this town, or not town, what am I talking about? This building does not have an inside interior. One of the only buildings to not have an inside interior. Like, you can't open the roof or anything. And it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. It's understandable, though. But when you turn the lights on, you can actually see some stuff through the windows of, like, shelves and some stuff. So there are some things that make it look like interior, but you can't look inside the actual building and there is what I was guys what I was talking to you guys about about all those Route 66 signs but not all of them contain Route 66 as you guys see up there we have some about spark plugs and motor oil so that's a nice contrast here is the radio right there if you guys do not know there was actually a 2016 two pack released with Lizzie with radio as the exclusive car it was like an 11 pack the only new car was obviously Lizzie with radio I never got it because I wasn't really willing to pay $40 for a plastic piece, but the Radio Springs building actually did come with a radio. I do not have the actual radio from the set. I never bought it, so I can't compare it unfortunately, but um, I'm pretty sure you can go and check other YouTubers who reviewed that pack and see the difference. I think there's actually a difference between the two. You can see the nice gas pumps right here. All of them are in a different color. This one's red, middle one's blue, and the right one is like this yellowish beige color. And they all have different designs on the little tips right there. That one says Texas T, I think. That one has a Radiator Springs Cat Mountain. And then this one right here, I'm not sure what it says, but you can kind of see how it's different from the others. And now here's also a very nice pole on the top right here. I like how they added this detail. I don't think it actually lights up, though. I kind of wish it did. But yeah, here's the nice little post. And now I'll explain this little thing in a second. There's actually a hole on top of it, and it does go along with the traffic light theme. Obviously, right here, it contains the two sides that says, here it is, with a little picture of it. Looks like Stanley, or maybe it could actually be Lizzie. It's very rusty and old, definitely accurate. There's two, one on each side. We have a nice water tower, which I do like how they add this detail. It looks really nice. You can see all of the rust on it as well. Very nice. As we move on to this side of the building, it says Radiator Springs Curio. It's like it's... Print is pr bleh, I can't speak today. It's painted on this brick wall right here. Souvenir, drink and drag, trinkets, Route 66, Western Junk Fossils. Very nice. And now the other side right here actually contains some information that I don't think they ever revealed before. As you guys can see, it looks like Lizzie's building was actually made all the way back in 1926. If you guys do not know, Lizzie and Stanley got married in 1930. So that means this is four years before she married Lizzie. Or not, <laughs> she married Lizzie. She married Stanley, and I do believe Lizzie's car model is from 1923. Still, that's some nice new cars information that we never got for. We do have this little opening on the side right here, or I guess is another place you can walk into the store. I feel like it's probably not for customers, just for workers only. And now, unfortunately, you can't really fit Lizzie in there that much. I mean, she sort of does. The Precision Series version, though, does not go in there. Only, like, small cars like Lizzie and maybe a lot of the pities would be able to fit in this little tiny hole. And honestly, here's a nice sign right here. It looks very nice. I really do like the addition of the spare tire right here. It is actually very flexible, as you guys see. You can kind of move it a little bit. I don't recommend mo moving it too much, though, because obviously it could break off. You definitely do not want to do that, especially on a Precision Series set that costs you about $100. 
We have a nice cactus right there. More cacti right there. Very nice. We have the fence as well, which wraps around almost the entire building. As you guys see, stops right there. But it goes around the entire building all the way to the back. Obviously, it does not go to the front. Like, it doesn't circle around the entire building, which is accurate to the movie. I got some news for you guys. Well, that was a fail. Okay, second take. I got some news for you guys. Yes, as you guys can see, Lizzie from the Precision series is actually bigger than the normal, regular Lizzie. As you guys see, she is actually taller and actually longer as well than the normal Lizzie. And that they actually made her bigger, which I'm honestly not really sure what I think about this. I actually saw some pics from the movie, and this one actually looks to be more accurate than the big version. Like, I can compare her to some of the Radiator Springs counties later on in the video, so compare her size, but she is actually bigger than normal Lizzie. I don't really know if I like this change or I hate the change, but I feel like the shorter one is actually good. I gotta say though, a bonus of it though is I really do like your expression. It's ten times better than the normal Lizzie. It's nice to finally have a new expression for Lizzie. And you can see the blue eyes right there with the flat eyelids. And like I said, she is longer and bigger. Almost looks like she could be a deluxe. But as you guys see right there, we have the rubber tire. The spare tire in the back is also rubber. Her features are rubber tires and the working lights. The lights shine very, very well. You can even see like the reflection off of your screen. It only goes on for like five seconds. Like you can't put it on a setting where it can stay on forever. Unfortunately, it only has a limited time. Now, as you guys see, there are hard fenders right there with a nice white outline around the wheels right there. And now here's the back with the license plate NT23, which probably represents her model year since I think her model was 1923, like I said earlier on the video. So the 23 in her license plate probably has some sort of significance to that. And now, if you guys are wondering how you turn the headlights on, you just simply press on a roof. It's very wobbly, though. As you guys can see, it kind of moves a little bit. And I'm not really a big fan. That almost looks like it come off. Now, it doesn't come off. I just don't really like how wobbly it is. I feel like that could have been fixed a little bit. And I do like the detail, though, on the bottom. They definitely did put a lot of detail on there. Kind of wish they colored in the stuff, though, but it's kind of fine. What's funny is that this actually kind of looks like the YouTube logo. <laughs> you see how the triangles right there? kind of looks like the YouTube logo. Let me know in the comment section down below if you actually like this change for Lizzie, or do you just like the normal size of Lizzie? Now this video is trying to, is getting really long, but I don't want to rush things at the same time, so I'm trying to go at a steady pace. Plus, I think I'm one of the, actually the first people to review Lizzie's Curio Shop, so. So here's basically how you put the lights on. So essentially, this part right here, you guys see there's like a little connector at the end. There is a hole on top of the barrel. I know it's not noticeable. I hope you can kind of see it. It's supposed to go in there. And then this pole right here is what it connects to. Now this little platform right here, you're supposed to stick it in there. And this piece on the other end will connect to that. I'm not going to do it on camera because I know I'm going to do a massive fail and probably flip the camera and stuff. So I'm going to cut it and tell you guys when I'm done. And it works just like that. Now, obviously it's supposed to go all the way down to Ramon's house of body art. I thought that's what it would connect to, but no, it actually looks like you are able to put it there. Although I think this is actually meant to go onto Ramon's or maybe even flows. And here's how the lights work. You just simply just a click of a button and it goes on. Now, if you notice, every third blink is slower. Do you guys probably remember that classic line from the movie that Fillmore said? I'm telling you, man, every third blink is slower. The, it, every third blink actually is slower, and it's kind of funny. Now, unfortunately, I can't change the red to green, though. Now, it is time to get to the part you've all been waiting for. The lights. Lights off. Alright, I know it's very dark for you guys, and you probably can't even see the set, but I did try to make it as dark as possible so the lights can even look a lot more amazing. So we're going to start the lights in 3, 2, 1. And that's not all, guys. You can actually also change the setting where all the lights go off at different paces, like so. Figure now why why not put the traffic light on too, right? Yeah, it looks very cool. I love this set so much. I'm not really a big fan of Lizzie, but the set is actually amazing. And you can see Lizzie's lights work fantastic. Awesome set. Definitely recommend this set. Great job, Mattel. 
10 out of 10. Bravo, bravo. Lights on. Here's a nice shot of all of the Persistent Series cars I have. I'm not lying to you guys when I say that I do have every single one that has been released with the exception of the flow from the set and the single Sally. Yeah, they all look very great together, especially with the set, surprisingly. I thought like one of the bright sets that like stand out, kind of like Luigi's for example, they kind of look better, but this one actually looks really, really good. And yeah, and there should be more Persistent Series cars coming in the future too. We should have a Dynaco Cruise and an Intro Ramon Precision Series car released soon by Mattel. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video right now. It's getting kind of a long video, and I don't really want that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for curious for recently. And I'll see you guys on the next time in the next video. Peace out. See you later.